I'm Amy Slowgrove. I'm a pediatrician from Cape Town in South Africa and I'm in Vancouver at the moment. I'm fortunate to be at UBC doing a PhD and the research that I'm doing is on HIV exposed but uninfected babies. So these are babies who are HIV uninfected but born to HIV infected mums. And what we've now begun to realize over the last few years is that even though these babies are HIV uninfected, they're still at greater risk of general childhood infections such as pneumonia or diarrheal diseases compared to babies that are born to HIV uninfected moms living in the same sort of circumstances. At first it was really um, tremendous when we were able to prevent HIV infection um, to um, babies born to HIV infected moms. Um, but really we've realized now that there are, there are quite a lot of consequences for these children um, and there are a number of reasons why this might be so but we still don't really clearly understand why these children are at greater risk. So if you think about a baby um, growing up in an HIV affected family, they're more often living in compromised social circumstances. Um, they've got a mom or often both parents with a chronic illness and that has consequences for them. Um, in, in Africa, a huge issue has been um, avoiding breastfeeding which unfortunately also transmits HIV to the babies, but it's so important nutritionally for children in Africa to be breastfed. It's a vital source of nutrition. So balancing these two risks has been a real challenge um, and babies that aren't breastfed do do more poorly, um, do have more nutritional consequences and more infectious diseases than, than babies that are breastfed. And then there's also a concern that actually immunologically they might be different, that because they've been exposed to the HIV virus during the, the pregnancy and while they've been developing in utero, their immune system may take a bit of a different course to, to a baby born to an HIV uninfected mom, and this may also have consequences for them. So there are many reasons why these kiddies are at risk. Um, and when we think about South Africa specifically, the antenatal HIV seroprevalence, so the, the percentage of pregnant women with HIV is 30% in South Africa at the moment. And so this means that 30% of all children in South Africa are HIV exposed but uninfected. And um, although tremendous effort has been made to reduce the HIV infection itself, we really um, need to dedicate a lot of hard work still to understanding what the other risks are to these children and how we can um, reduce the consequences of antiretroviral exposure and the other circumstances that they experience. So, so the, the project that I'm working on at the moment is, it's fairly small, but it's a start and will hopefully provide um, guidance and f further direction from the answers we get from this. But uh, what we're doing is enrolling um, HIV infected and HIV uninfected moms and their newborns at birth from a single um, community midwife obstetric unit in Cape Town and we're then following the the moms and babies up to the the first birthday of the the babies to have a look at how often the babies are hospitalized for some kind of infectious event and the way we've set up the study is to be sure that the, the moms, both the HIV infected and HIV uninfected moms and their, their babies are all coming from very similar neighborhoods, recruited from areas with very similar social circumstances, all very impoverished areas um, in Cape Town. And we're also collecting very detailed information about these social circumstances, as well as the, the feeding, the breastfeeding and other nutritional exposures experienced to be able to look at these infants and see with HIV exposed and HIV unexposed babies growing up in the same community, the same impoverished circumstances and experiencing the same nutritional exposures, whether there's still a difference between these two groups and how often the HIV exposed infants are, are admitted to hospital for infectious, severe infectious events. Um, and so hopefully that will help us to figure out is it more the social circumstances and poverty related issues that, that are the driving factor in, in the outcomes of these children or is it maybe something more biologically different with these kiddies from the actual exposure to the virus during pregnancy.
but I'm very excited. Uh, it's, a, it's been a you know, tremendous privilege already um, being in Vancouver and getting to know some of the people in the network and, and the support that Joel um, Singer, my, my mentor and supervisor within the network has given me. And yeah, just really excited to be getting this opportunity to know more people within the CTN and the, the opportunities that brings and um, the tremendous opportunity for growth of, of what I can do then within South Africa and Southern Africa. Thank you.